Alright, what's up guys, and welcome back. Here is a Might Magic 3. So we're in the birth of a Barbarian chapters, and this is scenario 105. This one's called On the Run. Escape from Bracada and capture the, the Quilodian town of Groa to win the scenario. However, if Yogg is defeated in combat or fails to capture Groa in 5 months, the scenario is lost. Yogg is limited to level 9, but will carry his experience and skills on to the next scenario. Your starting bonus choices are between the Spirit of Oppression, uh, Pendant of Negativity, or Three Nagas. Uh, we'll be taking the Three Nagas just because uh, they're a really strong unit, and those other two artifacts aren't that great. And the heroes of transfer over are Yogg. Alright guys, so this is what the map looks like. We start at 01, right outside. Uh, we don't own 01, we start with no town. There's three neutral towns marked by N3, N1, and N2. N2 is the town that we need to get to, but the only way to get to it is across the ocean, or sorry, across the lake there, and around. Uh, the enemy starts with two towns, 01 and 02. 01 is uh, somewhat built up, and 02 is not very built up at all. So right off the bat we're going to steal 01 and the way we're going to do that is we're going to run along the purple path there right down the road right until we reach that Naga bank there and we get across that little uh, fork in the road. Once you get across there Ainge should start moving and she'll start heading uh, down the other path to her right there and when she gets two turns away so when you get there she'll move one turn and then she'll move another turn when she does that she'll be too far away from the city to beat you to 01 as soon as the second turn ends just head straight back for 01 so once you've captured 01 hire a couple of heroes just scout out the area pick some stuff up flag the mines and give all their troops the aug uh, recruit some more troops and just head after Ain and uh, finish Ain off uh, down the southeast path there and once you finish Ain off just head back up to 01 so once Ain is dead you pretty much just want to follow that purple path to the end and you want to get to N3 and take that city over uh, and then you want to go down the little orange path there and release your buddy Tarek uh, have him visit that green tent of course and give the boots of speed from Tarek to Yogg now you just want to clear the area and uh, grab all the training points, visit everything, uh, flag all the mines, flag all the gold mines. Once you have a decent sized army that you can beat maybe like 20 Nagas, follow the purple path uh, south where you beat Yane and just go straight to the end and visit the blue tent. So once you visit that blue tent, make sure you can beat a horde of ancient behemoths before you cross the, the lake there because along the path Groa the objective there is a group of ancient behemoths that you need to beat and it's a pretty big group uh, in my case it was like 40 ish 45 50 it's pretty much a horde so just make sure you have a lot of uh, units to defeat that and all you need to do is follow the orange path and then the pink path uh, it's pretty self-explanatory there's only one route through there so make sure you visit all the training points uh, along the path and then once you reach n2 You'll have to do a small fight inside the castle, but then you finish once you capture it. And that's the end of this one, guys. All my life I have been studying magic under the wizards of Lakata to please my mother, a genie. But it is the blood of my barbarian father that runs through my veins, and I feel that my hands were meant to carry a sword rather than a staff. Fate seems to agree, for I have received an invitation from Duke Winston Baragas of Krulat to join his army. The time has come for me to leave this place. But I know that my teachers will not permit that without a fight. Born the son of a barbarian chieftain and a genie enchantress, you have always found your mind to be at odds with your heart. Your mother enrolled you in the Magic Academy at a young age, but as much as you tried to fulfill her wish for you to grow up to become a wizard, 
you found Cadmillac to be excru excruciatingly boring. In many ways, you were more like your father, spending your time engaged in swordplay rather than studying your magic textbooks. To your teacher's dismay, your studies suffered as your fighting skills grew. However, the more the academy attempted to discipline you, the more you came to hate magic and yearn for a more adventurous life. Such a life always seemed out of your grasp until last week, when you received an invitation from Winston Bragus, the Duke of Krulod, to join his armed forces. Your reputation as a swordman had, swordsman had reached the neighboring count, country of Krulod, and the Duke, who desperately needed to supplement his armed forces, was aggressively seeking foreign recruits. You saw this opportunity as a sign that now was the time for you to give up your, magic, your life of magic. Knowing how zealously the academy guards its secrets, you are certain they will close the border and give you chase. Undaunted, you send one of your sparring partners out. Find out, you send a, one of your sparring partners out to find a town. So that was a typo. Where you could build up troops to help you fight your way to Krulod. Last night, your friend sent word of a town not far from uh, Kalarnen. All I have to do is follow the road south, and you would get to safety in a few days. Alright, so this is a pretty uh, unique campaign, and Yogg is a pretty interesting character, uh, not in a not so good way. So he doesn't use magic at all, at all, but his specialty is chain lightning, so it's even worse. So he comes with no specialty, and uh, you can't buy a spell book on him. But anyways, Yogg is a level 1 wizard. Yogg studied many years with the Wizards of Bracada, but he would rather spend his time engaging in swordplay rather than studying magic. So yeah, he starts with uh, Chain Lightning, which is completely useless. He also starts with Tactics and Offense, which is nice. Um, some good skills we want to get are obviously Logistics, um, Archery, Logistics. You want artillery, I'd say, because you're not going to be getting any magic schools, so you will have a lot of open slots. So get artillery, and with his really high attack, the, the ballista will do a ton of damage. And yeah, you pretty much just don't want magic skills, and I'm pretty sure he can get them, but we'll see. Uh, if you like run into a scholar or something, and you get earth magic or something like that, or one of those huts that gives you earth magic, uh, don't take it, you'll be completely, it'll be completely useless pretty much. But yeah, anyways, uh, so we get one of these equestrian gloves right off the bat. Worn on the hands, these gloves increase your hero's movement rate over land. And our buddy Tarek also has boots of speed for us. So once we meet up with him, he'll give us these. Tarek is down here, he's trapped by these wizards or magi. So we can't really do much with him. Uh, this tent is, I believe, this tent opens the pathway there that we need uh, eventually, but not right now. So we ha we don't have a town right off the bat, and this is Ain. Uh, you won't be able to defeat this if you attack it. It's You'll just lose everything, pretty much. You can't beat this battle. But there is a little trick I like to do here. I'm going to delete these iron golems. Oh, wait, let's see. No, okay, that's not worth it. I was going to say I'll, I was going to delete them just to make my hero faster, but no. So what we do is we're going to trick Ain and we're going to steal the town, so I'll show you how to do that. We will take these, just so she doesn't get them right off the bat. And we'll get that later, once we hire a scout inside that city. So we got seven days to get a city. Have Tarek do this stuff and put him to sleep. Okay, so it's just letting us know that we'll be eliminated. So we'll go a little bit down here, once we get past this point right here, Ain will start moving. So, right there. So yeah, she'll start moving, she'll start going south. Journal Entry 1. I have been on the run for four days now, and still there is no sign of, of the town my friend spoke of. Still, I must press on, for I have learned that the Academy sent an army commanded by one of, our, one of their most adept mages, a wizard named Ain, to hunt me down. My only hope is to find this elusive town so that I can lose Ain and raise my own army to get through the border. So we don't want to go up right now because if she sees us coming up, she'll just go back to town and camp it. So we just want to enter in again. 
and then we'll enter one more time. Now she'll be too far away from the town to respond. So we'll just enter, and she can't get back in time. And we made it just in time, we get a free town. And it doesn't have much, but it does start with almost the city hall, starts with the citadel, starts with an upgraded uh, gremlin thing, so we'll be grabbing those. And yeah, it's got a tavern and a blacksmith. The blacksmith, we really don't want that yet. Halon and Krellion. So we'll grab this guy and just uh, snag his units. And we'll build the parapet. Our core units here are going to be the gargoyles, the upgraded gargoyles, and the uh, upgraded gremlins for the early game. Okay, so let's upgrade these guys. Give them to him, and we'll leave him with one of those. I'm not going to be using these guys. Eh, maybe. It's because they're the same speed as this. I'm not going to be using, using the non-upgraded version though. Stone golems, these ones. Not, not now for, not uh, for now at least. So, let's see what else do we want to do. Yeah. Oh yeah, right. We want to recruit more units if we have it. Okay. So we'll do that. Send this guy out. Start flagging stuff for us. We'll grab this so she loses vision of this area. So we'll just reapply the fog of war to everyone that's not on my team. And we'll go see what's inside that. Journal Entry 2. We arrived at Padon not, not too long ago. So far, everything is going well. Although the army is taking longer to build than I would like. However, I don't think the border gate will hold off Ain's forces much longer. No doubt she will devise a way to get through it. This morning, I sent a scout across the border into Krulag to find an isolated city. A place where I can hold out until Ain's tires until Ain tires of searching for me. The sooner I get out of Barakata, the better off I will be. So the, <laughs> the text assumes that we went straight down here and got to the city, because that's what you're supposed to do, but... Little does the text know we can do this. So, oh yes, we do want that. Definitely want that. So we'll just send this guy south to start picking up all the loose stuff that he can grab. And here, we want to upgrade that. But we need ore. So that will take three days, I believe. Okay, so I guess the week ended. I was wondering why we, I was wondering why we had so many troops. That will be good. Let's head out. So we're gonna go south. We're gonna take out Ain, who's just gonna be sitting there because there's nothing else she can do since we're stronger than her. She's only stronger than us inside the city. Right, let's end our turn. Grab all that, uh, we'll pass some experience. Right, that's logistics. We will go get Ain, but I do want to get that uh, gold mine that's right there first. Let's see what we got. Oh, we have enough ore to upgrade our gargoyles. Okay, yeah, it's worth it because upgraded gargoyles can pretty much go across the entire map with tactics. And with that, we can pretty much block these guys from shooting. So let's see how that works out for us. Like that. Let's put one on the sides as well, just so we can try and block all of them off. All the shooters. Depending where they're positioned on the battle map. So I haven't recruited this yet, and there should be a new hero, right? Yeah, Syrah. Ooh, Christian. Ballista. There's also a refugee camp here that will sometimes give you unit, good units. We'll take those. They can be useful for us. We'll bring them back up here. And yeah, let's attack this. Turn that quick combat off. So, uh, you can almost make it. So, with advanced tactics, you can make it across. You can deny them their shots. 
they're speed 9, but on snow they're speed 10. So we'll lose some gargoyles, but that's fine. Let's just send up the singles, maybe they'll uh, bait the shots out. No, okay. Did it not bait the shots out? Make sure they can't shoot. And okay, so we lost 21 10. That's actually quite a bit, but it's a gold mine. I'll take it. And should have him grab that as well. So we'll just hang around this area, get that experience. So we, know, we don't need to visit these at all because we're not using magic. So just don't waste your time with them. Let's have this guy grab this as well for us. I meant to click on the crystals, but whatever. That's logistics. Not gonna risk getting something lame there, so I'm just gonna leave that for now. This gives us knowledge, so it's completely useless. And yeah, so Naga Bank will be probably probably lose a bunch of stuff there, so I don't wanna fight that at the moment. I'll spend my I'll waste the time killing this thing, I guess. Cause I gotta wait for that guy, I don't wanna waste my movement points going back and forth. Try and bait them to this guy to go down here. Waste his time. Defend, defend. And wait. Wait. I don't think he'll kill one in retaliation. Kills two to three, now fly away. Wait. Kills two, okay, so we got it. Um we'll get archery. This uh faction has a lot of archers, right? It has these guys that shoot, it has the magi that shoot, and it has the titans that shoot. So archery is really good on them. Gotta be careful, we can't let Ains <laughs> like go up there and sneak the town from us. That would be pretty uh, embarrassing. Let's see, so it can probably make it that far, right here. So it's day four. Let's see, let's grab hero, Syra. So we need a capital and castle. We will grab her. Flag that wood there. I don't think I flagged it right. And I still need to recruit these guys for this week, yep. Oh no, I did flag it. Let's get her logistics. I'm gonna break this guy out eventually too, but we'll do that after. Uh, let's just end our turn. We have no gold. So, give him this and. We'll actually give this guy an obsidian gargoyle so he moves faster. It's the single one, and he can go back south. That, we go here. Have her upgrade it, and then we'll have uh, Yogg go this way. Yeah. Oh, we still need to upgrade these uh, other one units that we have. Let's see. Some of these guys. And we, did we have a single unit? No. Okay. Yeah, let's just go a little bit this way and then end turn. We only have 2,000 gold, so not much we can do really. Let's go ahead and end our turn. Go 
grab that before the week's end, hopefully. See what's in there. Let's upgrade this. And grab that. Okay, and we'll have her follow behind, actually. She can pick stuff up. Flag this, maybe. Um, Ballista won't do too much damage early on. We don't really have that much attack, so we'll pass on it right now. We kind of need the gold for our capital. Also this. Magi. Or no, it's a workshop. There's a Magi right here. So if we kill it tomorrow, recruit them, and then wait, we can recruit them again the next day. We'll get eight. Yeah, that's a reasonable number to have. If it was only four, I wouldn't bother, but eight uh, starts... They start doing damage. Some decent damage. Alright, let's go ahead and end our turn. Journal Entry 3. Last night, my scout returned with the good news that a city named Groa lies east of Krulad's border. He also warned me that the border is indeed heavily guarded. Although the scout couldn't identify every troop in the garrison, he did see signs of Titans, Naga Queens, and Arc Magi. I must be well prepared before I can assault the garrison. Yes, yes, you must. Alright, so Mercury, let's go see what we got. Offense. Alright, we already have that. You, like this, and... Oh, I should recruit these guys as well. Well, Ain probably actually already recruited those guys. Or maybe not, right? Because... It doesn't matter. I don't think I can get them. Yeah, we're blocking them. But, uh... I think the week passed, and I think she's already too far away. Yeah, let's recruit these guys twice. They're pretty good. Damn, we gotta turn that off. We gotta get our advanced tactics so we can go across the map in one turn. So we don't lose so much uh, units to these type of units. Because we're like one tile away with advanced tactics, we'd be able to get across. Instead, they shoot our gremlins, which is lame. And just defend with this guy. Go forward. Make sure we're being, we're blocking them. So yeah, they wouldn't have killed nearly that many if I had that um, advanced tactics. No point in visiting these as well. It's because they, yeah, you don't use magic. Okay, let's um, keep going. We'll have her deliver the other magic. Yeah, I'm back. I quit combat. I do this every time. I also need to split my gargoyles up again because most of my singles died. Can you reach us? Uh, can. Let's just attack. Can you reach us? No. So the Nog Queen specialty is the enemy doesn't retaliate. It's pretty good. Bend. Finish him off. Kills four to six. Don't want to risk getting retaliated and losing one. Okay. Lost an iron golem, but we don't care about those. Need advanced archery to pop, or we need advanced tactics to pop up. Taking its sweet time. Okay, so I guess we need castle for the capital. We may as well grab it. Then we'll end our turn. Oh, there she is. Stealing the gems, wow. The AI really does not know how to, how to prioritize. Not sure if I want to grab that, uh. I want to grab that. those dread knights. Flag this, but I won't grab them for now. This will give us one luck, one morale. So this is her army. It's not that great, but it's still pretty strong. Grab this first. Grab that, and then we'll fight her. Just give us the best, uh, 
Less chances of not losing so much. Okay, let's attack. Damn you, Ain. 21 Master Gremlins. Worked hard for those guys. Oh, let's go ahead and block this. I still do full damage because these guys, uh, they don't have a melee, melee penalty, so that means they do full damage, but they'll only be able to hit my one gargoyle, so we don't really care about that. So, it appears that we're going to lose all our gremlins and these guys, which is fine. Wait with that. I don't wanna. Hmm. So, I'm gonna get his retaliation. She won't get retaliated on, but I will have to attack with him because she's not gonna kill the Titan. I'll get it with this. Or maybe. No, she won't kill the Titan. Oh, what am I thinking? This guy can't hit him because he's in a little choke point. Oh, okay. Okay. He killed the thing and then he goes for me. Let's wait. Alright, so we lost most of our gremlins and a few things, but it's okay. It's okay. Got rid of Ain. Let's grab this again. And we'll just have this guy go south and flag or uh, pick up more loose resources. Maybe we'll send another hero that, down that way. We need 8,000 for our capital. Can't do much, so we'll end turn. Just want gold. There's another gold mine there, but it's also another ma mage tower there. But I think it's being defended. Might not be actually. We'll see. Okay, so there's a refugee camp. Actually, I don't know why I'm going down here. There's a. We do need to go down here eventually to get a tent. But it's defended by a bunch of Nagas, so we can't really kill it without losing everything. Um, not even gonna bother. Uh, okay, I'll kill this just to see what uh, what units in there. But we'll probably lose some more stuff. But tactics, advanced tactics, makes such a big difference. Put her on a head-on uh, path. That makes the, the least amount of tiles. Well, there goes our master gremlins. Lock this guy. Finish attack. Okay. Uh, I want logistics. I want tactics. Tic tacs. Right, I'll have her grab those now. Those gremlins. So we need. What? 3200. We need 2200 now. We might get here. 2000. Almost. So yeah, this is undefended. Hmm. So this is the border guard that was supposed to hold Ain for a bit. But tent's right there for us to go through, so that's how we would get through. So I'll wait to recruit those guys. We still have a little bit of time. I'll try and get my Well, we'll get wait, what? I do have enough. What am I talking about? Let's just buy it right now. Okay, good. Got a capital going. Excellent. Uh, I'll actually leave her here to collect these two troops. It wasn't worth it. 
And I think we'll end our turn again. Okay, well we still have a little time, so I'll just go ahead. So this is the city that we were supposed to grab right up here. Adam. But we did it a better way. And just keep going north. Just hang out here. Next we will build a sculptor's wings. We probably will have used these guys as well just because there's uh, two of those towers in this uh, region. So it's day four. We need a golden factory so let's build towards that. We have more than enough resources clearly for it. Grab that and just wait here for it to replenish. Actually we'll grab these as well. We have time. Buy Ballista right now, as well. I haven't recruited these guys or these guys. But I don't think I can make it, so whatever. We'll just grab these guys and then it's fine. Let me grab another hero. I think we need another one. Send him down here. Maybe he can make it. No, he can't. Well, um, maybe actually. So we need 2500, uh, so we just need 200 gold roughly. And you, yeah, we'll grab those tomorrow. Let's get rid of this. I don't want it in my inventory. I have some more gargoyles, and I guess we'll wait one day. Let's wait right here so we can get those troops delivered to us as well. I guess it's two days. Maybe I'll just go here, spend that time killing these guys for some experience. I can wait here. Y'all can go clear this for some reason. Okay, that's good. Shoot. Hopefully, we get that tic tacs here. You get tactics early on, like as your second skill. Like, uh, you know, if you level right away at the start, first level, and you get tactics right off the bat, that will make it so much easier for you. You'll lose so much fewer units. I lost an outcry, that sucks. Park and Shiva. Okay, not that far. She's gonna have to stop there, so I think Yogg is in an okay spot. 7,000. I'm not gonna go into these uh, buildings. I found that if you go into these buildings, you don't have enough gold to recruit everything on the map. Like, you'll have two castles. You won't have enough to recruit everything, so we're just gonna go for these things. I might eventually get them and just recruit the Titans, leave the rest, but we'll see what happens. In our turn. The Magi, grab the Gremlins. Okay, I guess the Oxen have to double back a bit. Oops. This guy needs to grab those. Uh, 
Sometimes could be some tier 7 unit. I have to check Are these guys again with just the unupgraded version. Are you? Okay, I'll just gotta grab this as well. I'll uh, eventually get those on our way down. So, this requires a library. I do want to upgrade the Magi, so we will build that, the library. We don't have like, any gold though. Gotta hurry up, self. Discovered. Oh, okay, <laughs> well, that helps. Discovered ancient magical text on the Black Art of Necromancy. This is not the first time you have seen such a book. I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee before it gets cold. Alright, sorry about that. When you were at the Magic Academy, you fell in love with another student named Vidomina. So Vidomina is actually that uh, necromancer that we sometimes faced in that early campaign. It must be true that the opposites attract because, unlike you, she was quite the scholarly and bookish. And how she loved studying magic, it was her life, or would have been, had it not corrupted her. For, for Vidomina spent her spare time scouring libraries for arcane magical tomes. She eventually came across a manuscript such as the one now in your possession. Against the advice of her teacher, she studied the book, but its evil glyphs transformed her into a necromancer. She now resides in Deja, where she will live out the rest of her days. You waste no time in selling the cursed book for gold and resources. Good job, Yogg. We need those resources. Okay, now back there. Actually, you know what? You can grab that. This guy can do that. Yog. Go to base. What do we have here? Theodius. Theodorus, I should say. Uh, that's fine. We'll send Yog to base. Let's think about hiring him. Go ahead and upgrade our mage tower as well. Upgrade these guys. I guess they're just here to die because they literally just... Everything focuses them. No matter what. <laughs> 6,000... 2,600 and not enough. It's fine, we're just gonna head out anyways. We'll have that other guy upgrade it for us eventually. Or bring him down eventually. Yeah, let's head south. Gotta get some of these other gold mines so we can start fording stuff. Some gems. Uh, you. Yeah, just hang around here. We're eventually gonna take this and build the. Uh, the upgraded magi and the upgraded gargoyles and the upgraded gremlins here as well, so I'm not gonna keep running back and forth just to upgrade a few units. But I will do it in this case. Have that. Grab all this. Okay, damn, I wish I had a little bit more gold. Let's uh, fix that. Should be enough. Do a little bit of this, and now we got all the troops. Actually, give him one of these. And this guy can just follow Yogg, pick stuff up. So let's go. Let's go straight for that gold line. I mean, we do need to go in here, but I kind of want that gold as soon as possible. Okay, 
Okay, so there's a, a mill here. It'll give us a thousand gold per week. Okay, we don't want those. We'll just wait here. Well, we can actually reach all the way there, huh? Or Master Gremlins. Ah, oh, could have attacked him those this book, I guess. There we go, turn that off once and for all. That's sixty eight hundred. One gems each day. We'll grab this. More gargoyles per week. So they can't get through here. The tents uh right there. So you're completely safe from this side. The AI can get through that border. So that's a dead end there. We'll have you just hang out here and wait for next week. Just making sure I find both of those. So let's actually go for the town first. And then we'll release our buddy and grab those boots as well. So we can move a little faster. We'll not build anything for now. Okay, still no tactics, huh? So we can reach level 9. Where we get that tic tacs? Afford anything? Okay, it's fine. Take the town, we're good. Get some movement speed there, and then we'll go clear this way. Didn't get genies there, but we'll get it later. Theodorus. Uh, wait here. Alright, I should probably send this guy south, right? Grab these and the other ones and upgrade them again. So we'll go for a town hall, city hall in that city, and more gold. Lots of magi, huh? Uh, we'll let them pass. We don't want to fight them. Alright, finally we get our buddy out of here. We take his boots, so we move even faster. And that's pretty much all we want from him. Let's clear these guys out. Uh, stone gargoyles won't join us. How many? Sure. We'll upgrade them in that town eventually. Let's see. So, let's head this way. Clear this other stuff out now. Have this guy do that. This guy is heading for this. So we need a fort, we need a town hall. We have plenty for a fort. We have, the fort is 20 wood, 20 ore. We have tons. So we'll eventually build that. So we can uh, upgrade those buildings. Yeah, we don't want anything else here. Here. No, thank you. So he's got like 16 of them, right? Or no, he already gave. Wait, where did the other ones go? 
Oh wait. Oh yeah, we upgraded them. We sent them up with this guy. Right? No, this guy has them. Okay, well I'll give them to this guy then. And you... Just go to the side for now. And... So this guy has those, right? Probably take them and upgrade them, right? Maybe? Let's see what's in here. Genies. Uh, if they're master genies, I'll take them, but I'll pass for now. I'm gonna just go back, grab these off uh, this buddy. Now we'll start clearing this. Get some gold out of that. We can't make it across the entire map, which is nice. Block these guys in a bit. Just in case they use weight. My stone gargoyles. Kill six to seven, okay. I'll leave that. Someone else. This, this is that guy, right? I could give him those mages and those other gargoyles to upgrade as well. So let's actually do that. Give him this and that, and then you can upgrade those for us eventually. We'll start to crypts and get some extra resources out of that. the big stack oops playing a little too quick cost me and let's go clear this now so we need a city hall for that gold all right we'll put this guy to sleep here This guy can just hang out here for now. You. More resources, more magi. I didn't grab the artifact. I'll grab it when we come back. Clear this. Defend, defend, attack, and oh no. Okay, of course we lost some gremlins. Alright, we'll take leadership. We do want leadership eventually. So we're looking good besides this. Never coming up. Naga Bank. Go ahead and attack that. Wait. Yeah, of course. Kills zero. Let's just run away with you. Poor gremlins, always getting bullied. There's a university right there, we can get some more skills. Honest Supreme Magi, absolutely useless for us. Hack 
of Master of Genius. Good stacks and start. Kill six to eight, so we can potentially kill them, but they'll retaliate. Just wait. Now we'll kill them. Pathfinding is, I guess we can take that. It's not like we need extra slots for magic skills. We still want artillery. And not much else. I mean, pretty much have all the skills that aren't magic skills. So, I mean, basic resistance is about the last one. Basic resistance, or maybe we'll get something lame like basic uh, ballistics, which we don't want. Catapult one. Right, so we got all this stuff. It's just you're good. Look towards City Hall, so Mage Guild. Grab that, grab this. Head north. Sure. You want to join us? You can join us. Alright, so we got everything we want from here. Just attack the guards? I do. up this guy and then finish him off oh, max level no tactics that is super lame all right then Smith, and we'll be able to build the city hall next day. Don't want any of that yet. I think we still need to grab this, yeah. Arc Magi or 21 Arc Magi, something like that. Genies. Okay, block properly because we don't have tactics. Let's go search that. There's a necklace there. Necklace of swiftness. Let's see what we got here. Something completely useless. So we need a hero to go in there and see what that is. I guess you can be the test subject. Could be artillery, something useful. So, what does the green tend to again? Forget. Oh, right, it's where an Ain would need to go to get in there. So, let's go clear this for that necklace. Actually, that necklace will allow us 
will allow our gargoyles to go across the entire map. So let's do that. They'll probably just end up targeting my gremlins anyways. And who cares about them? Yep, big surprise. are dead again, but whatever. Alright, let's uh, end our turn. What heroes do we have? Hey, it's Ain. Speak of the devil. Let's take her. She has, gives us gold. Welcome to the dark side, Ain. And in the tent or in the town. Give us your 350 gold per day. And this guy can wait here till the week rolls over. Create all this stuff. I will buy all this stuff and bring it down to uh, Yogg. Uh, did I equip that necklace? Oh, I did, so that's why they can go across. All these block them like that. Not that it was necessary there, but yes. Clear this out. And I guess we'll grab this as well. enough so they could go for the gargoyles or for the gremlins of course they were all right let's grab the fort and let's go ahead and end our turn let's say for her to bring those troops up and then upgrade everything. I guess he can go there. Save her a little bit of movement. Grumman's have just been fodder. Really just get focused by everything. I just uh, leave him behind. What's your speed? Speed eight. Speed five six. 
and speed 9, 10. So if I leave this behind and I leave these three Nagas behind, I can move much faster, but I think I need my units if I want to progress because there is some pretty uh, strong enemies ahead. So, eventually I need to go down here. Eventually. Suppose we'll go this way, clear that out now. Clear out the less important stuff. Now we can just do that, and they can't do anything. Okay, so it's day six, build this. Actually, no, this would be better. I'm gonna castle tomorrow. So I have logistics. No, I don't grab it for him, make him a little quicker. else to do honestly. So I need to go down here now. So let's head up here, get all these troops and then go down that way. And we'll end our turn. Someone else grab that. So he actually needs to bring Yogg that weapon. Yeah. Let's see. Upgrade. Grab everything. And Yogg, take all this or not. Grab it, whatever. I'm gonna leave. Speed 5 6, speed 5 6. Leave this, this, and that behind, I'd say. Split this into two groups. Like that. And like that. That should be solid. I'll go down here, take those Nagas out. Take that, and over here. Sculptor's wings. Uh, we don't want anything, so I'll send our turn. These guys are pretty good, but it's a bit late for them. We grabbed them if we got them in the first couple of weeks. Grab this, and that's it. I guess I can start building these titans. Build towards the titans. Only upgrade them, and only recruit them out of those three units. Uh, you can just go to sleep. See, we got no titans. And let's go 
ahead and clear that as well. Go ahead, bring Yogg that weapon. out. guess they might be able to hit my dudes. Yeah, I'll probably lose a couple of these guys here. Maybe we do this with these guys two groups. Because I think they can do quite a bit of damage, even with 100. Theodorus, going up here. This here we will build just these two buildings and the mage tower upgraded as well. And turn. and this is what's, what we need to kill lots of Nagas. I think we'll put this in one stack though. And let's just surround our Nagas in our main stacks. Sorry, no, our Nagas are Magi. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't know how to do this in the best way. Kind of don't want to get these guys hit as well. Maybe I should just have these in one stack. Because I also want to have this guy down here bait them. Well, actually, you know what? These guys are going to go that way anyways, so it's fine. that block off my main stack so they can get a first strike on them. Kills four to six. Just hit this guy. Wait for finish him off. This guy wait here with that weapon that he has for the kill or for uh, what's his face? Yog. Let's upgrade the gargoyles.
the Gom factory for that. And Magi. Alright, can we upgrade this? Yeah, we can. Alright, so it's day seven. We'll grab these, right? Yeah. Could stop there for those. Suppose I will. Save the woman some time. Should go down here and grab these, see what's up. You do that and that. Okay, definitely not those. I haven't grabbed that. Oh. And we just need to upgrade this. Let's need a library for that. And let's see, what are you up to? I don't know, just drop the weapon off here. Drop that off and do something else with your time. You grab gold, and grab that. Oh, some peasants. No thank you. So, what does he have? Nothing needed to be upgraded. Oh, he does have stuff that needs to be upgraded. And that. And that. Alright, and go back to town. this all and this also and may as well grab those since they're speed uh, 5 when they're upgraded I'm gonna use these I don't know they're kind of squishy and weak and slow soon behind for now that way I can move quick 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 these guys are pretty quick huh speed 7 Five. We'll pass on them for now. If we need them, we'll grab them later, but for now we'll just use these units and we'll go attack with this. So I'll take the titans, take this, take that, and the weapon. And then go back to town. Now we gotta go all the way to the other town. Recruit what we have here and then we'll head out got a lot of these huh whatever fill all these units give him a single obsidian gargoyle so he moves a little quicker through this terrain because if you have the, if you only have units from, so say you're, say you're in snow, and you have units from the barbarian faction, you'll move slow through the snow. But if you only have units from the snow faction, the tower, you'll move fast. Looks like we cleared everything. This. 
water magic. Alright, go camp here. We'll take this and this. Steals first aid tent or her first aid tent. That's all we want. Suppose I can go clear those genies out. Start getting more genies eventually in case I need them. And you can go through here. Oh, it's Astral. That's why we can't reach him. Anything guarding that tower or guarding that town. So we'll do this. So they target those single magis instead of targeting the full stack. Oh, wait, who do they target? Oh, okay, so they don't prioritize the magi. Prioritize the gargoyles. So I've done this before. And when I got on the boat, the AI had so many boats along this edge here that I couldn't land my boat, so I was like stuck. I had to uh, like bait the AI to come back and steal these castles. It was a bit frustrating. This isn't our terrain anymore. Boat terrain, so gargoyles are one tile off from being able to go across the entire thing. Alright, so there's another. No, there's not, there isn't another castle, but there's probably a hero up here that we need to kill. It's pretty built up, huh? Fully. So. I guess he's missing the Arc Magi though. Grab that for him. Give him a little hand. Of course, there's one tile that he can go to. Here. Alright, let's end our turn. There's the other hero. Serena. Oh, wait, what am I doing with this? And move you to a corner, I'd say. We've got three titans there, huh? Siren, I'm gonna close my window just in case you can. Alright. That was 126, 189. Kills 6 to 7, okay. Let's wait. What just happened? Alright, oh, okay, gargoyle. I'll attack another gargoyle. So she ran away. Get more attack. Let me just see if there's anything, any other heroes up here. And let 
us end our turn, I'd say. So we can, we can actually grab all this and just upgrade it at that one castle that they built up for us. So kindly of them. There is a bunch of um, behemoths on the other side up there that we have to take out. So we will need quite a large army to do that. Okay, so that's a dead end. How many skills do we have? We have two more slots. Alright, so I think we can head across. We'll do it next week once we get more troops. So... Okay, wait there. Just end our turn. Actually... Finish up cleaning this. Head this way. Uh, behemoths. Yeah, I'd grab it if it wasn't so far away. Actually, no, I wouldn't. It's just one. Maybe if it was an early game, I would. It'd be pretty cool to get one of those early game. So I will grab some of this stuff just because I can upgrade it up there. I have to spend money on upgrading the buildings. So we got 3100. So yeah, as you can see, we really won't be able to afford most of it. And yeah, I can just wait here. Get his mana points. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Yogg has given up magic in all of its forms. His knowledge of battle and tactics will have to be enough to get him through the rest of his life. Cool story, Yogg. Who's available? Astral? Oh, we just killed him, didn't we? Okay. Boss is it? Okay, go to sleep. You're already asleep. Alright, it's in turn. Gonna turn their turn off for a bit. Alright, you deposit this into the aim bank. a little faster. This guy should be able to reach Tarek tomorrow. And then Tarek should be able to reach Ain. Does Ain have enough space? Let's have Yogg take some of these units off her. Like that. Pretty much take everything off her. this and that I'm not gonna be using the guard this iron golems or the Nagas oh wait no I do have Nagas coming down so I'll use them Let's see what we can afford looks like we got everything next day we'll be able to get everything Grab them, huh? Oh well. Go over to Ain and 
and swap. And finally, Aang can deliver it to him. Oh wait, let's... Yeah. I guess if I'm going to use the Kremlins, I'll use those guys because they're at the same speed. The only reason I would want to use them is because they're slow, right? But they're the same speed as the Kremlins. Whatever. Let's go ahead and upgrade this stuff. Genies and anything else. I had an August. And now we'll head out. We've got quite a large army. We should be able to deal with everything. Yeah. Oh wait. We need a slot for our Titans. They didn't block that. Hopefully there's somewhere to land. On Golden Dragon, of course, and now we get all these good units. Okay, good. Yeah, they had three boats here, all blocking it. Pretty lame. So uh, send you to see what's inside that thing. What's inside there? Oh wait, he can't land because there's too many boats. I'll have to get Yogg to move one of his boats for a minute. Hmm. It's pretty lame. Alright Yogg, move real quick. There's a castle there, I guess I could have just bought a scout there. Yeah, okay, we definitely don't want that. Definitely do not want that. Xyron. a tower right there we'll take what do you got for us nothing's upgraded so not much Anything you need to grab? I think there's another training point over here that we'll uh, have him grab for us to see what's inside. Looking for ballistics, pretty much. Journal entry 4. I am resting my army before we begin the battle to cross the border. Just as, my, just as my scout reported, the border garrison is heavily guarded. Although my tro troops look apprehensive, I think they will hold together. If, when we get across the border, their morale will hopefully improve. Yes, hopefully. That's a lot of stuff. Oh, wow, it's got a lot of ten titans. I didn't realize there was that much in there. Uh, Mark, can you, go, can you go across the entire map? No. These guys will, well I guess the titans will get to shoot anyways. I'll probably shoot them at my gremlins. But we do get to go first, let's shoot his titans. Oh wait, our genies are faster than them. Because of that necklace we have. Okay. 
Okay, let's uh, attack them with our genies. And lose all of them. Uh, I lost all our genies, that was a bad move. Oh well. You win some, you lose some. Can we buff? Let's pull back. And who's up? Genie. Yeah, I lost a lot of genies. That was, that was a newbie new mistake. Journal entry 4 continued. The battle was indeed fierce. I did not expect to lose as many troops as I did. Yeah, indeed. I must be more careful next time. But for now, it is done. I have made it across the border. I just hope the academy doesn't attempt to cross the border too. If they haven't already. This area isn't that well traveled, and it would probably take a while before the Duke of Krulod realizes that Ain has invaded his territory. Okay, let's keep going. Where's our buddy? Right there, see what's up. I'll assume it's not worth going back for. Yeah, definitely not. Alright, grab that. And go in here for tomorrow. Thanks. Take this guy out. And I'll probably just end up shooting us and running away with something. Yep. Big surprise. Journal Entry 5. My scout has advised me to head south because an army of this size cannot pass through the mountains. A two to four day march south will take me to the entrance of the valley leading to the city of Groa. Oh, what's this? Oh, looks like someone landed on that side over there. Maybe I should uh, turn this back on, huh? So let's see where they're at. Alright, so that guy landed there. Let's just grab some units and deal with them. Right up here. Can't get through the border guards, so we just corner him. He's he's dead. He'll probably just go back in the boat and run away. He probably sees what Ain Wayne what Ain has in her army. And he doesn't want any of that. Alright, so this guy's cornered. Let's go deal with them first. Riza and Serena again. Can never catch a break, huh? Oh wow, he didn't. Oh, he, they took that castle. I didn't realize that. Because I guess that was off that uh, animation. Whatever. It doesn't matter. We just need to get here. And this is what's guarding it. Lots of ancient behemoth. Should we fire at Magi? Do you like 
Okay, I will focus the gremlins. Okay, and kill her. Kills three, okay. Kills fall to eighteen. Sure. This is just power, we don't want that. Screw it, let's just go. Oh wait, what are you up to, Dermoth? You're dying, that's what you're up to. Alright, let's end our turn. I'm surprised this guy isn't running away. I guess he might not have a vision of Bane anymore for some reason. Yes, Ain has betrayed you. How do you like it now? Let's go ahead and do something like, I don't know, bless that. Help him some more. for the training points. Some over here, just one. Alright, let's go through here. So, 17, 12, 1, 1. Not bad. So I think this will only let Yogg through. That would be me. Journal's entry 6. It was almost over. The scout's map indicates this to be the entrance to Groa's Valley. I will gather my generals and enter the gates of my new home. I'm going to turn this off again because I don't care what they do anymore. The guards here say they have orders to only let Yogg pass. At last, it is Yogg. You wish to pass. I do. Alright, behemoths. We have lived peacefully and undisturbed in this valley for many years. Now you come with an army seeking to defeat us? We will not tolerate such aggression. Before you are able to convince the ancient behemoth of your peaceful intentions towards them, they attack. We will show them. Alright, alright. Let's at least try and protect our Arc Magi. I have to sacrifice some genies and some of these guys. These dudes are gonna wreck us. Uh, let's hit him. He's gonna try and go for our first aid tent. Let's go for this guy. that. This battle could have been avoided. All I wanted was to hold out here until the search for me relented a bit. There was no need for bloodshed. The townspeople must have been truly frightened to send out so many ancient behemoths. Well, if an army marched up to my home, I suppose I too would be alarmed. But the town's defenses are not crippled with most of their ancient behemoths gone. When my troops are rested, I will plan an attack upon the city of Grola. Because who knows what else they may unleash on me if I allow them another opportunity to take initiative, to take the initiative. Alright, so this is a city where we need to get to. We still have some troops, but we'll handle them. 
No problemo. Let's see. Go for these guys with our range units. Did I give her a slayer? Uh, I guess we'll go for the bird. Wait. Back now. And shoot at this guy. Ooh, prayer. That's pretty cool. Let's go attack these guys. Finish off the range units with our range units. Uh, that's Genie Cast Slayer on Obsidian Gargoyle. Yeah, that's the end of you. Congratulations, you've captured Grove and, and are victorious. Alright, guys, so that's the end of the first Yogg scenario. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.